Present-day Unitarian Universalist churches do not have members recite a dogma or creed. However, most churches recite an affirmation of faith and sing the doxology from the Unitarian Universalist hymnal before each church service. Although specific wordings vary among churches, each has the same basic structure, which echoes that of the seven principles. Unitarian Universalism was previously two separate religions, the Unitarians and the Universalists. Both religions began in Europe hundreds of years ago. Universalism was officially present in America in 1793 when the Universalist Church of America was founded. Unitarianism was organized in America with the establishment of the American Unitarian Association in 1825. The Unitarians and the Universalists merged in 1961, establishing the Unitarian Universalist Association, known as the UUA, after becoming theologically and ethically close in their beliefs. Originally, all Unitarians were Christians who didn't subscribe to belief in the Trinity. They believed in the unity, the single aspect, of God. Later, Unitarians stressed rational thinking, a direct relationship with God, without the need for clergy, and the humanity of Jesus. People have held Unitarian beliefs since Jesus' death. However, groups didn't form around these ideas until the mid-1500s in Transylvania and the 17th century in England. These people were seen as heretics and persecuted for their beliefs. John Murray's church in Gloucester was the first Unitarian church in North America. His controversial message said that people are not eternally damned, and you must not be a Christian to go to heaven. During the Revolutionary War, Murray preached the message of universal salvation. The mid-1800s saw an introduction of transcendentalist thought in Unitarianism, including studying Eastern religions and the introduction of humanist thought in the early 1930s. Both made American Unitarianism broader and more flexible as a faith. The Universalist faith has been held for thousands of years. Originally, Universalists were Christians with their main belief in universal salvation. Universal salvation is the belief that all people are saved, and people do not need a hell to do good. Universalism quickly became widespread in the late 1700s, when the English Universalists came to America to escape religious persecution, because of its loving and inclusive doctrine. Universalists saw a decline in membership after the Civil War, however, because the concept of damnation became less central to religious American groups. After the merger, Unitarian Universalism became a strong voice for social justice and liberal religion. Unitarian Universalist theology has continued to evolve, exploring the changing role of Christianity in today's Unitarian Universalism, acknowledged the sources of faith, included in those sources earth-based spirituality, and explored what religious and spiritual language works best in the congregations. Unitarian Universalism draws from many sources. The UUA elaborates that our sources are drawn from direct experience of that transcending mystery and wonder, affirmed in all cultures, which moves us to renewal of the spirit and an openness to the forces which create and uphold life. Words and deeds of prophetic women and men, which challenge us to confront powers and structures of evil with justice, compassion, and the transforming power of love. Wisdom from the world's religions, which inspires us in our ethical and spiritual life. Jewish and Christian teachings which call us to respond to God's love by loving our neighbors as ourselves. Humanist teachings which counsel us to heed the guidance of reason and the results of science and warn us against idolatries of the mind and spirit. Spiritual teachings of earth-centered traditions which celebrate the sacred circle of life and instruct us how to live in harmony with the rhythms of nature. The chalice is the symbol of the Unitarian Universalist faith. Hans Deutsch an Austrian artist and cartoonist, designed the chalice for his work with the Unitarian Universalist Service Committee in 1941, during World War II. UUSC director Charles Joy wrote to his board in Boston that it was, a chalice with a flame, the kind of chalice which the Greeks and Romans put on their altars. The holy oil burning in it is a symbol of helpfulness and sacrifice. This was in the mind of the artist. The fact, however, that it remotely suggests a cross was not in his mind, but to me this also has its merit. We do not limit our work to Christians, yet we do stem from the Christian tradition, and the cross does symbolize Christianity and its central theme of sacrificial love. The two overlapping circles represent the two heritages, the Unitarians and the Universalists. There is no traditional interpretation of the flaming chalice symbol. In one interpretation, the chalice is a symbol of religious freedom and open to participation by all. 
The flame is interpreted as a memorial to those throughout history who sacrificed their lives for the cause of religious liberty. Many congregations feature the flaming chalice symbol on their signs, logos, and in their meeting places. Some congregations light a chalice displayed prominently in their worship space while saying opening words at the beginning of weekly worship services. The texts used during these chalice lightings vary. Some congregations use a ritual formula, while others have a different method each week. Even though the chalice is the official symbol of the UUA, in keeping with the traditions of religious pluralism and individualism, there is no requirement that congregations or adherents use or acknowledge the flaming chalice as a religious symbol. Therefore, there are many different styles of chalices. What do you not believe? We do not believe that any religious precept or doctrine must be accepted as true simply because some religious organization, tradition, or authority says it is. Neither do we believe that all UUs should have identical beliefs. Do some UUs have different beliefs than other UUs? They certainly do. Found in today's churches are humanism, agnosticism, atheism, theism, liberal Christianity, neo-paganism, and earth spiritualism. While we are bound by a set of common principles, we leave it to the individual to decide what particular beliefs lead to those principles. Do you believe in God? It is accurate to say that we do not have a single defined concept of God in which all you use are expected to believe. Each member is free to explore and develop an understanding of God that is meaningful to him or her. They're also free to reject the term or concept altogether. Most of us do not believe in a supernatural supreme being who can directly intervene and alter human life or the mechanicism of the natural world. Many believe in a spirit of life or power within themselves, which some choose to call God. Do you believe in Jesus? We do not believe that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, performed miracles, and was resurrected from death. We do admire and respect the way he lived, the power of his love, the force of his example, and his values. Most UUs regard Jesus as one of the several important moral and ethical teachers who have shown humans how to live a life of love, service, and compassion. How do you regard the Bible? We regard the Bible as one of many important religious texts, but do not consider it unique or exclusive in any way. We do not interpret it literally. We think some parts of it offer more truth and relevance than other parts. Although you use respect the Bible and regard some of its content as great literature, it is not a central document in our religion. Is Unitarian Universalism really a religion? Ours is a non-creedal, non-doctrinal religion which affirms the individual's freedom of belief. Although we do not all believe the same thing, we do believe that each person has the integrity and the ability to come to terms with their religious beliefs in a way that is right for that person. What is a typical Sunday church service like? Our typical service follows a Protestant structure. Hymns, readings, meditations, singing by the choir, organ music, and a sermon. Although the service's format is similar to a Protestant church, the content is quite different. Though the words prior to the meditation might sound like a prayer, they are not addressed to and do not request the support, inspiration, help, or blessing of a supernatural deity. The extent to which you would hear references to God or Jesus would depend upon the religious orientation of the particular congregation. Can anyone be a Unitarian Universalist? People of all beliefs are welcome in our church, Christian, atheist, agnostic, and all other traditions. What binds us as a congregation is mutual respect, acceptance of one another, and encouragement in spiritual growth. 